They look caught up in their own conversation, so I look around for something to keep me occupied. I promptly start licking a lamppost. Delicious. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and beyond how are you guys doing today my name is anima welcome back baby to love is strange and this time we're seducing kate the resident nun slash angel slash possible messiah we are gonna stick it in her butt let's go i'm still reeling over what kate told me yesterday she told me to stick it in her butt this is all coming from her it's not coming from me i don't know she's the one she's a freak it's not me oh my god i could have never guessed she was getting it in the butt i'm just not gonna go there getting in trouble from bullies oh crap okay we've got to be serious 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 times <laughs> who could be mean to kate marsh of all people it makes me furious to think about and kind of lousy at the same time I'm supposed to be her friend and I had no idea this was going on. I should have said something, asked her out for tea or sent her a text at least, or killed the people that were bullying her with my bare fucking hands. Some friend you are, Max. Yeah, Max, some friend you are. You couldn't even have the decency to murder a few people, goodness gracious. This is the worst. That's right, Max, you are the worst. But there's no use worrying about what I didn't do. It's not like I can rewind. Oh! Oh, you went there. Oh, you went there. Oh, you're so funny and cheeky. <laughs> the important thing is being here for Kate in the present, in whatever way she needs. Every way. Always. Every way. Kate, I'm there. I'm there for you. <laughs> the bus reaches its destination, jerking me out of my thoughts. Okay, we're here. I have to stop by the boardwalk today. There's a lot of neat little shops down here. Handmade souvenirs, antique stores, gift shops. There's even a place that sells camera gear for the tourists looking to preserve their memories of our sleepy little beach town. The shop also sells hella cheap Polaroid film, which I need to take the contest photo. We're gonna go in here. Oh, okay, Kate's with us. Right, that makes more sense. I asked Kate to come along, telling her that I wanted some company. The so <laughs> Subscribe. Though it's more for her sake than mine. Oh, Max! She's being, she's being sweet, you know. She needs a day to relax, especially after I made her spill her guts to me yesterday. She seemed okay when I texted her last night, but I still wanted to see her in person to make sure. And her response to being asked to join me was so damn cute. She was like, yeah, sure, Max, and promptly stuck her fist up her ass. Anyway, I pull out my phone to let Kate know that I have arrived, glancing over my last received text from her. Sounds wonderful! Oh, okay, she doesn't sound like that. I'll see you around nine. And I promise I won't be late this time. Smiley face. XO. XO. Oh my god, she's dead keen. Relief washes over me again and I smile. I hope these emojis are legit. <laughs> Do you want me some bootleg emojis? Too much sad Kate is not a good thing. I'm about to type a quick text, but there's no need. Kate sails in on a vine. Hello. I can see Kate on a bench not too far from me, hands folded in her lap, staring out at the glittering ocean. I put my phone away again and start to walk quickly in her direction, not wanting to keep her waiting, staring at her, making direct eye contact as I thunder towards her. Kate! Look at my titties! She sees me out of the corner of her eye as I approach, smiling up at me. Meh. <laughs> Oh, she's pretty. I ain't seen you for ages. Kate Max promptly getting the flex out. Kate, I mean, Max, shit, there you are. Hand instead, wrist, forearm. Hey, Kate. Ugh, sorry for kept you waiting on, babe. Ugh. I rub the back of my neck sheepishly, not thinking about the three times I'd hit the snooze button on my alarm this morning. I have a really itchy nose and that completely shut off my entire brain. Kate shrugs. Nonchalant. She's quiet today. I hope I didn't upset her too much yesterday, bringing up all her problems. Well, to be honest, she needed to confide in them and she wouldn't have, she brought them up. It's not, you're okay, did you? I reach forward and tentatively squeeze her shoulder. How are you feeling? Her eyes don't leave my face, but she seems to perk up at my touch. Oh, Maximilian, Goldfinger, go for it, dude. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so uh, I just want her to agree to what I was saying. I actually felt like playing my violin this morning. I haven't touched it in a week. It's gonna get lonely. I had noticed. I hate it when I get the inflection wrong. I'm like, ah, ma, la, la. Kate had stopped playing her violin in the mornings, right around the time she'd started acting sad. I can't stop myself from smiling. That's so great! I must have slept right through it, but I'm sure it was nice, as always. She looks away, suddenly shy. 
Actually, I didn't get the chance. <gasps> oh, little precious. I was too excited to be here. My God, Max, quick, go in for the kill. Get the bicep out. With you. Oh, my God, Max is super gay. Dude, 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 dude. Go in for the kill right now. Get the fist out. Bang, get the bicep out. Bang, bang, bang. She says it with such a gentle voice that it makes my heart melt. I pretend to be distracted by a seagull milling around behind us, her sweetness giving me a momentary loss for words. And of course, I can't even show up on time. Fuck my ex, you fucking bitch. You could have been playing your violin instead of waiting for my lazy bones. Lazy bones, Max. Lazy bones! Kate, not even remotely peeved, just laughs and rises to her feet. It's fine, really. I can play later. Maybe you could even join me on your guitar. Oh no, that's a bit romantic and cute. What the fuck? That's adorable. Fuck sick. I nod immediately. Kate and I only played together once, but it's still one of my favorite memories with her. Definitely. We're long overdue for a jam session. Oh, cute. You guys are cute. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Cute, cute, cute. Kate, you look like you're wearing knuckle dusters. Holy fucking shit. She looks so excited. I wonder if she's remembering it too. Kate looks over her shoulder at the shops ahead of us, then back to me. Shall we go? I nod, letting Kate lead the way. Adorable. We stop by the camera shop first. Kate doesn't do a lot of browsing, hanging back to look at some cute lanyards while I pick out my film. After we exit, Kate and I wander around for a little while. Kate remarks that she doesn't get out much. No, baby, don't say these sad things like that. So a lot of the shops are new to her. If that's the case, I'm even happier I invite her along. Oh my god, this is sad. Holy shit. Even though the shops are pretty ordinary and shabby by most people's standards, Kate is really enjoying herself, eyes wide with interest. I really like this, you know. I used to really like going around uh, town or going around in the city with my friends. And uh, there was this like um, weird vintage shop that we'd never buy anything from, but we would always go in there. Uh, <laughs> And there just be loads of like weird bits and bobs. There was like this little basket full of like fucking doll limbs, like from like baby dolls and stuff. And <laughs> I don't know, no, my friend actually did buy an arm. It was like a weird arm, just like Mrah! And I uh, found a rabbit foot. Actually, it wasn't a rabbit foot. It was like a grouse foot, and I used to terrorize people with it. So yeah, this is this is cute. This is very enjoyable. We come across a shop filled with stuffed animals, and Kate actually pulls my arm over to look at them with her. It's a shame that more people never get to see this side of Kate. The side where she banters and acts silly. Just because they never get to know her. What? Oh my god, amazing. I want to see Kate with like some wicked banter. She's just like slaying people left and right. I would like to see that. I would love to see that. It's always the quiet ones that have the sickest banter because they're just like thinking loads. You know what I mean? It makes me feel pretty special. Maybe that's just the effect Kate has on everyone. She's such a warm person after all. Or maybe there's more to it than that. More to me and Kate! Oh my god, Max, just go in. Go in, dude! A gentle tapping on my shoulder brings me back to reality. Kate stops us outside of a small, sweet-smelling stand surrounded by tables with big umbrellas attached. A small... Music change. A small sign hangs out on the front, advertising fresh tea and baked goods. It's been so long since we last had one of our tea dates. Mm-hmm. I take in another whiff of the fragrant air coming from the stand, then look back over at Kate. This place fucking stinks. Way too long. Want to stop here for a bit? We order our drinks and sit down at one of the small tables outside. The boardwalk's not very busy today, so there's not a lot of people watching to do. L -l not a lot of people watching to do. Fuck! Emphasis! Kate and I practically have the whole place to ourselves. Still feeling adventurous. It's a bit dangerous, Max. You can't say stuff like that. That's that's like that's like that's like old married couple shit to say. I'm feeling adventurous tonight, sweetie. Maybe I'll take one sock off today. I opt to order the house blend. The spices emanating from it are powerful. And as I take a sip, my nose falls off. I let out a groan of surprise and Kate grins at me from across the table, picking up my nose and sniffing me with it, mocking me. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I confused myself there. <laughs> you got to understand. I I like I read a lot <laughs> lately because we're doing like coming out on top and we're doing like this. So I <laughs> so I just chat a lot of shit. I really confused myself there. That was my misfortune, but I could see it on her face, the mocking glint in her eyes. She's like, oh, you're so stupid. And I've got your nose. That's really strong. How's your tea? I'm sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> it's good. I always get chamomile because I'm boring. No! I like chamomile, dude. You're not boring. I love you. For fuck's sake. She says this with a smile, so I know it's not self-deprecating. Still! It helps with my anxiety, too. Goodness gracious. I'm not a little concerned. Oh, no, please. I love you. You have that a lot. Kate arches an eyebrow. Max, I'm attending one of the most notable art schools in the state. There's so much pressure with that, you know? Not to mention homework and my strict family checking in on me. Yeah. In Max's response is to just casually flash a bicep. Don't worry, babe. <laughs> this will make you feel better. Kate's bluntness makes me grin. We've both felt the stress. Blackwell does have a reputation, after all. Point taken. Maybe I should try drinking that stuff, too. Kate secretly laces it with vodka. Kate takes a sip of her own tea. Thoughtful. There's other teas for stress, too. Passion flower. Fucking hell. Lavender, peppermint's good, too, but a little too sweet for me. Teas are, like, nice, you know, but the thing is, I can't be bothered with, like, herbal teas. When you have to leave them for a while, you, like, you pour it and you leave it. I would, like, if, if I had, like, a little servant that just made them for me, then I would be all over this. But I'm just far too lazy, and that's why I drink this instead. <laughs> I glance at the empty packets of sugar surrounding my tea, then back up at Kate. I'm getting worse than Chloe these days. I don't think I'd have that problem. Oh, she likes sweet stuff, I see. Kate actually giggles at that. No, I guess you wouldn't. You could try. She stops herself suddenly, looking down at her tea. After a pause, she notices my worried look and speaks again. Sorry, you must be bo- Whoa, no! Oh, God, no! A decision! Fuck's sake, lad! Oh, God, tits, McGee! Quick, quick, quick! Oh, Raza Amber, I really hate to save over you. <laughs> I hate to save over you all. Stop. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've been rambling so much. Hang on. Contextually, are we saying, are you only rambling just a little bit, or are we going, yeah, I'm hella bored. Let's just say just a little. It's not like Kate's bothering me, she could never. Just a little bit, but I don't mind. There we go. Kate looks away apologetically. Sorry, whenever I hang out with other people, they usually talk over me. It's different with you. I hope she doesn't think that's a bad thing. Kate deserves to be heard just as much as anyone else. I just- it's so disturbing, her whole face just falls off. It's scary. You're allowed to be the center of attention too, you know. Kate looks at me skeptically. I'd rather not be, honestly, but I appreciate the thought, Max. People get surprised when I actually have things to say. I guess I just don't stand out that much. To be honest, her fashion is on point. She stands out great. I really like her fashion. I like her little hipster little... I know th I know that Kate's like actually religious, so that actually means something. But it just... It looks nice. The gold. It's just pretty. I like you, Kate. I like you a lot, you know? I actually know exactly how you feel, Kate. Kate seems surprised at this statement. You do? But your photos are amazing, Max. Everyone knows you for the- Holy shit! <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Why do you think everyone was so eager to have you submit one for the contest? You really do have a gift, Max. I shift a little uncomfortably. I know everyone thinks so, but I don't see it sometimes. Ah, the struggling artist. She looks more angry in this one. Well, not angry. Not Angry isn't the right word. What's the word? Just like thoughtful or something. That doesn't make it untrue. You're just insecure. The bicep. <laughs> insecure? Me? No! I smile at her knowingly. Kinda like you, huh? Insecure times! She pauses, suddenly very interested in the napkin under her disposable teacup. Maybe. I'm serious, Kate. Your drawings are awesome. Just as good as my photos. And my photos are fucking sick! <laughs> I lean forward as if sharing a little inside joke with her. I still haven't erased that drawing you left on my room slate. Just in case it's worth something one day. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about <laughs> when people say things like that. Like, I'm gonna sell this thing that you touched <laughs> one day. Kate had doodled a cute doe on my room slate a few days earlier, wearing a plaid shirt and a camera around its neck. An obvious caricature. Kate erupts into giggles at that. She explodes, giggles flying around. Oh, God. Okay, now you're being way too nice. I spent two minutes on that crap tops. Oh, I like it. Please talk like this more, my heart. Oh no. You'll get into me. I gasp dramatically, mock offended. How dare you, Kate Marsh? That doe is obviously adorable. No, it's happening. They're getting cuter and cuter by the second. Quick, cover up your chest. The lesbians get you by the titties, it's true. Kate crosses her arms, protecting her own breasts. 
Well, I did use you as an inspiration, so you could be biased. Kate, please. That is not the only reason. I can't do this the rest of this time scrunched up like this. <laughs> I shut up and take a sip from my tea. A sudden heat rushing to my cheeks. Oh, snap! Max looks like she's been put in the oven of love. I don't know. That was weird. I'm a poet. Mm. For some reason, the implication that Kate may think I'm adorable is making me triple my words. It better not be. I actually want to write children's books one day and do the illustrations. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hair in my face. So cute art is a must. I grin at the thought. That's perfect work for you, Kate. Kate beams back at me. I didn't have a lot of friends when I was younger, so I read a ton of picture books. <sighs> they were a big comfort to me. Stop it, Catherine. I even kept some of them to read when I'm sad, pretty childish, huh? Listen, Kate, you need to shut. You need to shut the front door. You need to shut the front door. You need to stop. You need to stop doing that. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm just destroying Rachel. Um. No, it's cute. It's cool. It's cool? Is Kate gonna appreciate cool? I don't think she particularly cares about cool. Let's say it's cute. No, it's actually cute. My room back- It's cool. It's really cool that you read the kids, but I think it is cool, but Kate doesn't seem to value cool. My room back home is practically a museum of old kids stuff I've never thrown away. Plus, I sleep with Captain, my uh, stuffed teddy bear. Thank you for the context, because that could have just been strange. Kate laughs softly. Sometimes, like, I, I, my flow gets interrupted, yeah. Brace yourselves, Anna was talking about flow! Uh, the, Kate laughs softly and it, like, pisses me off when, I, like, after I've done saying it. I just want to read normally. How the fuck do people like Dawn French read shit? You know, the audio books? I'd be useless at those, I'd be like, hee hoo ha hoo ha! I just don't know. That makes me feel better. I actually don't have any stuffed animals. Alice is enough for me. We keep talking until the remnants of our tea have gone long gone cold. Why don't you have any stuffed animals? What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I hadn't even realized that it was nearly three in the afternoon. Oh, three in the afternoon is a nice time, isn't it? As we're walking away from the small tea shop, I catch Kate smiling at me. Bam! Thanks for always listening to me, Max. You know, you don't have to thank me for that. Her fingers graze across my arm gently. Holy shit! That's the gayest shit I would say! I just feel like I can talk to you about anything. Not everyone cares about what the quiet Christian can have to say! No, I care! I care! I. 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 I care so much, Kate! You don't even know how much I fucking care about you, but you genuinely do, so thanks. Before I can respond, a voice in the distance distracts us. Someone is trying to get our attention, specifically Kate's. Don't be a shithead, whoever you are. Don't do it. Oh, it's Stella. Thank Christ. We haven't talked in forever. She looks at me questioningly. Do you care if I pop over and say hi? Pop over. Did someone British write this? Pop over. That's adorable. She's going to go and pop in, you know? You know? You know? You know? You know? I practically push her in Stella's direction, shoving her on her face. She breaks her face. Oh my god. You don't need my permission. Jeez! I say it with a smile. Happy that she feels like socializing again. Great. I'm so happy, honestly. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Oh, I like it when Kate's happy. Alright? Stella was one of the only people to attend Kate's Bible groups. I'm glad Kate's reaching out to her friends again. I love you all. They look caught up in their own conversation, so I look around for something to keep me occupied. I promptly start licking a lamppost. Delicious. There's a small gift shop immediately to my left. Fuck no, it's the fucking gift shop. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should get something for Kate. Oh, this is going to be the lavender oil shit again. Damn it, bollocks, ass, titties, testicles, dicks, and fanny and vagina. What should I get, Kate? Save. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, I didn't kill Rachel this time. Thank Christ. Oh, I can't talk about that. Okay, so, right, let's see. Tiny dino picture book, stuffed rabbit, cinnamon tea. She doesn't have... She said she doesn't have any uh, any any stuffed animals. Does that? Oh my god! Hell, my face is such a situation. So stuffed rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> such a mess. Stuffed rabbit. She said she doesn't have any stuffed animals. Dinky Dino picture book. Well, she wants to make some. She has picture books, and she has tea. I would probably get her the rabbit. 
Shit. I think that was our hint, yeah? I think that was our hint. All right, fuck my life. I managed to fit the gift perfectly in my bag. Just in time. Wait, no, she did say that the rabbit was the only thing she needs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna come back to this. It might be another lavender oil situation. Fuck my whole ass, fuck my whole life. <sighs> With a spring in my step, I run over to join her. Let it be a good gift for fuck's sake. Let it be a good gift. Need to see the full bit. More than half the day has passed when Kate and I arrive at school, but I barely noticed it. I forgot how much I loved hanging out with Kate and our tea dates, of course. Hey, I think she enjoyed herself too. I've seen her smile today, more today than she has all week. Oh, Maximilian, you're doing it, dude. You're helping. You're helping. I love it. Well done. My God, you're a superstar. She seems lighter, like there's a lot less on her mind. I hope whoever was bullying her decided to back off. I hope so too, dude. She mentioned someone had written something mean on her room slate. I checked it this morning while I was on my way out to find that it was still wiped clean. Thank God. It better stay that way. It's kind of chilly now, a steady breeze filling in the comfortable silence between me and Kate as we walk. She stops me when we reach the steps, putting her hand on my ass. Thanks again for letting me tag along, Max. She's swaying back and forth. What? Adorable. What's going on? It almost feels like they're going to smooch right now. I'm there. I'm there. Come on, poop. Let's do it, please. Always a pleasure. I pause, rubbing the back of my neck nervously. And, um, sorry I've been such a space case lately. I still can't help feeling a little guilty about not knowing that Kate was struggling. When you were staying in your room all the time, I thought something was up, but I just didn't say anything. I feel bad. Kate shakes her head almost immediately. Please don't, Max. It's not your job to check up on me all the time. I guess not. I trail off still unsure. I just hated seeing Kate so sad. Hearing her talk about how hopeless and tired she felt was kind of scary. Oh, bollocks. I didn't want to leave her alone. I don't want to leave her alone. <laughs> I need to help myself too, like you were telling me yesterday. Besides, I feel pretty good today, so don't worry about me. Oh my god! It's happening! She's going in for the kill! Kate moves forward and grabs both my hands, squeezing them gently. If anything, you can stress about the photo tomorrow. Not that you have any reason to. I grin, looking from my hands to Kate's face. Oh, you guys are cute. Just smush them together. What makes you so sure? Kate shrugs. I've never seen a picture of yours that wasn't pretty. That's a nice thing to say. Even. Oh, a smooth operator. After a beat, Kate smiles and nods. Special your selfies. Fucking hell, that was a smooth exchange. Holy shit! That was just a good example of mutual flirting, you know? Max set up the spike. Kate smashed it in. I'm there. I'm I'm there. I'm there for all of this. The air around us suddenly feels warmer, and I look down at my bag for a distraction. It's the toy. Did that that toy. What? I open my bag to inspect its contents. There's the film, my phone, my camera, and Kate's gift. Still wrapped in the plastic gift store bag, baby. I can't believe I almost forgot to give it to her. My brain is really fried lately. I fucking suck. I look up at her slyly. You sure you're feeling all right today? That's the most romantic thing you could have said. Well done, Max. You really killed it. She looks at me questioningly. I think so. Why? Well, I know you've had a hard week, so I may have gotten you something while we are out today just in case you're feeling sad. Okay, fucking hell. Let's see. Is it gonna be the one? Surprise dawns on Kate's face. She actually gasps a little one hand moving to her mouth. <laughs> I love it. I love this face. I think it's really funny. You did not have to do that, Max. I'm fine, really. Should I take off these two caps? I think I probably should. I don't know what that looks like at all, apart from probably just silly. Um, for a second, I worry I've offended her somehow, but the small smile I can see under her hand tells me otherwise. But I wanted to. I stick my hand in my bag to grasp the gift and then smile back at Kate. Yeah, that is honestly a cute face. The cute little flicks with the little curls of the lips are really cute now hold out your hands and don't peek she like promptly gives her a fucking eel <laughs> it's like all slippery and stuff she obliges with a small giggle obediently holding out her hand as her eyes gently flutter closed kate takes the bunny out of the bag and looks <laughs> looks <laughs> looks it over for a moment before looking up at me neutrally oh how cute but you know i already have a bunny Yes! Fuck yeah!
we got we I went back and I got the, the I got the book instead, right? Her eyes widen as she looks at the cover, turning it over to look at the back design as well. Admittedly, I hadn't looked at it too closely, but the cover sported a tiny cartoon cat holding a balloon. It looked adorable, just like Kate's art. The art reminded me of your drawing, so hopefully you'll like it too. Plus, I know these cheer you up, so I figured you can't have too many. You've already been a huge help with that. I just need this. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm very sincere when I play this, right? I just need this. Like, <laughs> like that, that was from my heart, you know what I mean? Her eyes are still busy on the pages she's flipping through, though her grin broadening brain please flipping through her grin broadening as she does finally she closes it and looks back up at me this book sucks bless your soul max this is adorable we did it first try that's right i know women i know women me she hugs the book against her chest and the smile she gives me is absolutely angelic oh my god help us i love it I can tell she is sincere as always. I can't stop my own grin from spreading across my face. Glad to hear it, bye. Just then, the clouds, which had been blocking the sun for most of the afternoon, moved away from each other so that we could see the colours on the dusky sky. Kate smiles, despite having to shield her eyes a little, as she looks at the strong glow of the sun. Mm, such a zenny face. It's going to set soon. I could probably get some good shots. I wonder what Kate would say if I asked her to watch it with me. Well, it's a pictures of course! Well, that be a little too weird, we're just friends! Listen, listen, we can call it friends. We can be friends, that's good. That's good, baby steps, right? Hmm? Looks like the clouds are finally still click. <laughs> Maybe we should head back inside. <laughs> Kate pulls out her phone and checks the time, her eyes widening in surprise. Yeah! <laughs> I love that face. I just think it's so funny. Wow, I guess it is a little bit late. Time flies when you're having fun! There it is, she sat the spike! Do it, Kate! Yeah! Kate nods eagerly with a laugh, and the way the light hits her face makes her look radiant. It certainly does, but now it's back to the real world. Her words remind me about what I wanted to ask her. I want to make sure nobody's been giving her more grief. I reach out and touch Kate's shoulder gently. <clears throat> Maybe not just yet. I wanted to talk to you about something. About dumb. The people who've been bullying you. She shrugs like she's not used to people asking after her. I hope that's not the case. Oh, well, okay. You want to sit down somewhere? I nod, letting Kate lead the way. She's always leading the way. This is good. I like this. I like following people. A thought occurs to me as I look to the horizon. You know, it's going to be a really pretty sunset. We should stay outside long enough to watch it. Kate smiles knowingly, bug at me! Itching to test out your new film. Yeah, that's what it was. And to watch it with one of my best friends. Holy fuck, she pulled out the BF card. Fucking hell! What do you what do you what do you say, man? Kate seems to go with pride at my words and nods. We sit on one of the benches outside the dorms, getting a good view of the sun dipping behind the trees. Another breeze shifts past us and Kate rubs her shoulders. Oh, it's getting chilly now. Off her hoodie, lightly tease. Holy shit! Okay! Oh no! Both are gonna be interesting! Alright. Oh, fuck my whole asshole. I'm gonna save it over here. And the thing is, I think this is the right option, but I wanna tease her because I, I just I just wanna tease little Kate. See if she responds with some quality banter. I, you know, it's getting kinda cold. Maybe you should have brought a jacket and that's not what I fucking wanted. I'm out of here. <laughs> I want her to be like, oh really? You know, I don't know. Fucking, it's off the fucking it's Just be a good person. I shrug the hoodie off of my shoulders and offer it to Kate, who looks at me with... <laughs> who looks at me with surprise. Here you go. Are you sure you're not gay? Yes. Yes, I'm I'm very gay, Kate. I've always been sure. Nah, it's fine. I lived in Seattle, remember? I'm used to the cold. Is this even, like, real? Because I lived in, in England, okay? And it's cold in there. It's cold as balls. It gets really cold. The weather just kind of stays miserable. Uh, with occasionally nice sort of sprinkles of summer. But, like, 
But over here, I still can't tolerate the cold. I can't. It sucks. <laughs> I'm not, like, used to anything. Maybe I just have, like, a thyroid problem. She puts it on. It almost fits her, but her arms are a little too long, so she pulls them over her hands. But the arms are a little too long, not her arms are too long. So she pulls them over her hands. It's pretty adorable. Holy shit, are they, like, sh hoodie sharing now? That's such a girlfriend's thing to do. I'm gonna freak out. She turns back to me and smiles gratefully. You're sweet, Max. Thank you. I'm not sure if the goosebumps that go up my bare arms are entirely from the cold. Oh, snappity doodah. <laughs> so what's on your mind? I shift a little, thinking on my words. I don't want to bring up any bad memories for Kate, especially after she had such a nice time today. I just want to make sure you're okay after what you told me. I hope I didn't come off as too bossy. I didn't mean to tell you how to run your life. I just don't want to see you hurt anymore. After a pause, Kate making sure I finished. After a pause, Kate making sure I finished, she replies. That's really sweet of you, Max, but you don't have to apologize. I needed to hear what you said. She's not looking at me, playing with a loose thread on her shirt. This might surprise you, but I'm not as delicate as everyone thinks I am. Oh, that's a <laughs> Or at least I try not to be. I just forget sometimes, you know? When everyone sees you as this shy, scared little Christian girl, it's kind of hard to break away from that. Nobody understands that there's more to me. She looks back up at me, a little anxiously. Do you even... Lift? Why, yes! <laughs> she seems so troubled. I want to grab her hand and apologize. Tell her that, yes, I do lift. That's why I've been showing you my bicep this whole time. <laughs> Serious. But it's too late now. Kate, you know I understand. What brought this on? You've been so nice to me, and I'm so happy that you picked me to help you with the contest. But I don't want you to feel like you have to just because you feel bad for me. She looks away again, focusing on the rings on her fingers instead of me. I know I get sad sometimes, and it's not always easy for me to make friends. That's why I want to make sure the friendships that I actually do make are genuine. This is an intense fucking thing to ask. Do you understand, Max? I don't want anyone's pity. I'm your friend! Don't you think? I don't. Sh fucking hell. They're all like, oh, this is gonna be a difficult one, lads. It's gonna be. Oh, no! We're moving into Victoria territory! We can't. I can't do it. Oh, it makes me really sad. Um. I understand. That's probably the easiest thing to say. Don't say that. That's like. That doesn't sound right at all. And I'm your friend! Also, sorta of seems a little weird. I'm just gonna say I understand. It sucks that Kate has to feel this way, but I understand where she's coming from. If I had been in her position, people whispering behind my back and bullying me, I'd be a little paranoid too. I know where you're coming from, Kate, but you don't have to worry about that with me. You really think I would have spent the whole day with you just because I felt sorry for you? I reach over and brush my knuckles against her shoulder, getting some knuckle action right now, getting knuckle deep on those shoulders, getting her to look up at me. I had an awesome time today, and that's because I was hanging out with you. There's only one Kate Marsh, and I'm glad that she's my friend! Yeah. After a moment, Kate smiles. I still think you're way too nice, Max, but I believe you. Good. I'll always be here for you, Kate. I know. You get me, Max! You get me, dog! I realize I haven't been giving her enough credit. Kate looks so sure of herself right now, completely the opposite of yesterday. Could it really be that easy for her attitude to turn around, reading, emphasis, inflection, I am the king, just like flipping a switch? I'm not sure. But I trust Kate, and hearing how steady she sounds, she shall, she shall, she shall, after she shall, take a chi, after cha cha cha, I just don't be afraid to ask when you need help. I can't always take a hint. This makes her giggle a little, breaking the serious air completely. I know. Hey, that's the part we were supposed to disagree. We're both laughing now. You guys are cute! And Max has got the bicep out, reassuring Kate that she does, in fact, lift. Shouldn't you be taking pictures right now? You're gonna miss your shot. Kate innocently gestures towards the setting sun. She's right. I shake my head at her before grabbing my camera out of my bag. SM fucking H, Kate! Jesus fucking Christ! Looks like you're off the hook, for now. The sun glares against the trees, making them look black and daunting. Oh, nice descriptor. The tips of the leaves on the branches light up, giving them fiery glow. This is my favorite time to take nature shots. The sunset makes the entire world light up. 
I catch Kate watching me while I take photos, a small smile on her face. I aim the camera in her direction and she immediately ducks. Suddenly she fucking hits the dirt. Shit, Kate. <laughs> Come on, no! Don't waste your film on me. Ah, Kate! Some cute shit alert. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, they're just sort of becoming tomatoes. I like it. Kate, a picture of you would not be a waste. I lower the camera from my face and meet her eyes. I'm the professional here, okay? I know my stuff. Kate rolls her eyes good-naturedly. Later, okay? Just focus on your sunset for now. That's right, because fucking Thursday is the photo-taking day. I'm a little disappointed, but turn my camera back in the direction of the trees. Now Kate's watching it too, smiling and bunching the hoodie I gave her around her shoulders as another gust of wind blows. She seems to be happy I offered, at least. Satisfied with my work, I put my camera away and Kate rises from the bench. <clears throat> I should get going now. Talk to you later. I nod, smiling. Sure, I'll text you. I told the hospital staff we'd be there around 2 tomorrow. You know what bus to take, right? Wanna head up there together? That way I won't be tempted to mash the snooze button too many times. She giggles, nodding, sure, like that. Wow, damn! She gives a small wave before heading back inside. I'm glad Kate seems excited for tomorrow. I know we're gonna take a great photo together. Holy shit! It's still Wednesday, what the fuck? Okay, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, OMFG, oh my god. After a quick dinner, I head back to my room. I was planning on catching up on schoolwork, but I'm too wired to focus. Moment of appreciation for the soundtrack which while I have appreciated it I just really like it it's really fucking good I really like it anxiety about the contest photo is settling in making me excited and nervous at the same time I wonder how Kate's feeling she better come to our room like right now wearing nothing maybe like a nun costume I don't know is that inappropriate I'm very sorry I don't mean any offense <laughs> an incoming text lights up the screen as I do Seems like I made off with your hoodie. Oh, yes! Fuck me! We're in! We're in! Okay. As if I won't want you. Sure. I actually felt like talking to you anyway. There it is. Is it okay if I come by now? Holy fucking shit! That's a lot of XOXOXO. You know, the thing is, what I've learned in America is people don't necessarily leave X's on the ends of text anymore. Actually, actually, I think this is more like a just growing up thing. Like, people don't really put X's on the ends of their texts. And that's like totally fine and normal. <laughs> I remember being like a teenager, like a like a, a younger a young teenager, and putting like X's on texts and stuff. Oh my god. I can't tell if she is just excited to have people visiting her dorm room again. Or just because it's me in Patex! In Patex! <laughs> you don't shorten the word particular, just that doesn't work. Patex! Either way, I'm glad she feels like being social again. I better head over to her room before it gets too late. Come on, Kate. Oh, the door's open, Max. Oh, it's Kate's room. I enter Kate's room after I hear her soft voice, shutting the door behind me. She looks up from her seat on the bed and smiles. Oh, fucking hell no! Oh, I, wish they'd, I wish they'd drawn that, actually, but I understand it takes a lot of work. Her long hair is out of its bun, falling around her shoulders like a fluffy mane. That is cute fucking bollocks! I bet she just... I wish, they'd, I wish they'd done that, but I understand. I wonder if she only wears her hair down when she's alone. It looks so pretty. I'm seeing so much of you lately. Oh, honey. Duh, we could say so much. You could see even more. You could do it. Whoa! You could do whatever you want. Oh god, how horrible. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. Oh, that was weak, dude. I am disappointed in your banter right now. Kate rolls her eyes at the assumption. Of course not. She glances around her room self-consciously. It's a little messy, but nothing too severe. That carpet was so clean, though, dude. Some of her books are lying on the floor, as well as a few articles of clothing. Sorry about the mess. I've kind of let it go the last couple of days. This is nothing. It doesn't bother me. Um, this is nothing. <laughs> I can't do it, okay? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've got to say that. <laughs> I can't do it. She's too perfect. Um, right. It doesn't bother me. I look around the room and shrug. It doesn't bother me. It's not that messy. I can help you pick up a little if you want. Kate shakes her head, not meeting my eyes. No, it's okay. It's not your job to be my mum while I'm being a slob, after all. Shit! Hope I didn't embarrass her. 
Um, okay, I'm just gonna try and see if the other option was better. What are you talking about? Okay, you should see my room when I study for the finals. It looks like a war zone. Listen, we did it! <laughs> KK goes at that. Still, I could have tidied up a little. I look at her reassuringly. Seriously, don't sweat it. Kate gives me a warm smile in return. Okay, that was obviously the right action to take instead of the one that sent her into a pit of abyss and despair. She parts the spot next to her on the bed. I take the hint to sit down beside her, tucking my feet up under me. I'm actually glad you decided to stop by. The remark catches me off guard. Huh? <laughs> You're glad? I'm here for my hoodie and that's it, bitch! Why is that? Kate looks, uh, looks me over, a little concerned. You just seem a little tense. Don't tell me you're still worried about the photo. I thumb the back of my neck sheepishly. Just a little. Performance anxiety, I guess. Kate rolls her eyes and puts her hand over mine, pressing down softly. I already think your photos are amazing, Max. You don't have to worry about impressing me. I feel a warmness in my cheeks. Holy shit! I can always count on Kate to believe in me. It's not you I'm worried about, Kate. I know I don't have to worry about you. I just I'd start to disappoint everyone else, I guess. Everyone's rooting for us to win this contest, and it would make me feel like an ass to let them down. I look at her apologetically. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so emo on you. This makes Kate giggle. You're fine. Lord knows you've listened to me being sad enough. Fucking, that's just the saddest thing I've ever heard. Please don't say that. <laughs> I exhale, leaning against the wall. You actually have reasons to be sad. I'm just being a baby. After a beat, Kate shakes her head resolutely. That's not true, Max. If there's anything I've learned from you, it's that our feelings are always valid. You learned that from me? Kate smiles. Of course. I used to think my problems were silly too, but being around you has made me realize that my feelings are important. That's cute shit, okay? It's nice to have someone who cares, okay? Listen, lads, just do it. Just go for it, okay? I'm proud of Kate all over again. I can't believe how much she's smiling again after the hard week she'd had dealing with Blackwell snobs. I'm glad I could help her, but most of this is on Kate, of course. She really is a fighter. So many people care about you, Kate. I know. I'm starting to realize that now. My mum called me just a while ago. She looks away from me down to the phone next to her. Oh, she's got her negative face on. Shit. Oh, shit. Kate had mentioned her family was strict. I hope they didn't yell at her. Is everything okay? She nods, looking back up with a small smile. Yeah, Miss Grant called her saying that I had looked like I'd been crying a lot lately, which... Fucking... Whoa! She doesn't finish the sentence and I take the cue to cut her off. Yeah. Did you have a nice talk? As good as it can get. She was just worried, asking me a ton of questions. You know, moms! Then my sisters wanted to talk and then my dad, of course. I felt pretty bad making them worry. I remember seeing a family photo on Kate's desk. At the time, I had thought they looked kind of intimidating, but hearing Kate talk about them so fondly makes me think otherwise. It makes me happy that Kate gets support at home, too. You get along well with your family, huh? That's great. They can be strict sometimes, especially my mum. We don't always see eye to eye, but I think she means well. Even she accepts me no matter what. My whole family does. I think about what Kate said on our tea date. Why do you let them pressure you so much, then? I mean, if they already think the world of you, you shouldn't have to try so hard to impress them. Kate shrugs, letting my words hang in the silence for a moment before answering. Well, I guess it's kind of like how you think you're going to let people down if you don't win the contest. When you love someone, or many people, you don't want them to be sad. It makes you want to try harder even when you're not sure that you can. People believing in you and the love they project, it gives you courage. I can't help but smile. Kate sounds so passionate and hopeful talking about this stuff. I hadn't thought of it that way, but you're right. Love. The word seems to make Kate glow every time she says it. It lights up her whole face. Perfect love casts out fear. Good lord, you just dropped some of the lord's wisdom on us. I turn to her, confused. What's that from? She's gonna say like she made it up. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's a bible verse. Well, part of one. She stops, a little self-consciously. Don't worry, I'm not going to start preaching to you. Despite what certain people would have you believe, I don't force my religion on anyone. She must be talking about how the, the people who bullied her. How stupid. Making Kate feel bad about her beliefs is a low blow. Never crossed my mind. And that's a nice quote. She looks down shyly. I like it because it reminds me of what you were saying the other day. How there's a lot of support in my life from you and the others. You help me remember. Her words are soft, but they hold a lot of weight. 
So I'm gonna keep being strong. Since everyone else believes in me, there's no reason that I can't believe in myself. She says this with a determined attitude, no hesitation. Sounds like a plan, Stan, and I'm proud of you. I don't know, those are both good things. I'm proud of you. I'm so relieved at how confident she sounds. It feels like I don't have to worry about Kate after all. Maybe I never did. That's awesome, Kate. I'm really proud of you. Oh god, <laughs> fuck's sake, that's so, so cute, dude. She beams, lighting up her whole face. God, she looks like such an angel when she smiles. I'm proud of me too. And if anyone's mean to me again, I'll kick them in the nuts. Kate's face becomes deadly serious. The mane of hair framing her face, making her stare even more intimidating. I'll just get beat up. <laughs> Achievement unlock a fucking man. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? <laughs> My reaction makes Kate burst out laughing. She brushes a few stray hairs away from her face and clears her throat. I'm kidding! Sorry if I scared you. I don't think I'm that tough anyway. She just like kicking a corpse under her bed like haha don't look over there. I'm not very tough at all. Haha. <laughs> After a pause I laugh as well. I love Kate's silly side. The side that murders people. You are tough Kate. Seriously. Standing up for yourself takes a lot of badassness. She shrugs but I can tell from her grin that she takes my words to heart. We talk for a little bit longer about nothing in particular. My anxiety about the contest photo slowly melts away the more Kate speaks. She's one of those people who can make you feel calmer by just being around her. I'm really happy I decided to spend so much time with her today. As I'm about to leave, Kate puts her hand on my shoulder. Come on, just do something gay, please. You feel better now? I nod. Thanks for listening, Kate. It helped a lot. Good. We stand by her door for a minute. Kate looks like she wants to say something. Oh, mm, I'm about to ask when she moves forward and gently puts her arms around my shoulders, pulling me in for a quick... Hug. I'll take it. After a moment, I tentatively hug her back. And she sighs content before pulling away. Sorry. You really looked like you could use one. Hugs always make me feel better when I'm stressed. <laughs> this is really adorable, okay? Me too, but for the record, you never have to apologize for hugging me, or touching me, or looking at me, or just like anything, really. Kate laughs softly. Ha! Ha ha! I'll remember that. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, Kate. Jeez Louise, dude. Thanks to Kate, I go back to my room with a grin on my face. It's Thursday, girl! Oh, holy cow. God in heaven, dude. I feel like that was an extra scene that we got there. I feel like that was an extra scene. I feel like that was the equivalent of like a, like the Victoria bedroom scene, which still sends me into hysterics just thinking about it. I gotta say that this, this, this day kind of slowed down a little bit towards the end there, but I still enjoyed it massively. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share it with your friends, share it with your mum and get her to return my calls. Check out the other stuff on my channel that you may have missed. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. But absolutely most importantly, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.